afternoon. Welcome to Tuesdays at 2 here at Oglethorpe University Museum of Art. My name is John Tilford. I'm the curator of collections here at Oglethorpe. And I'm very pleased that you all could join us today to look a bit at a work from our permanent collection, in this case, a very recent acquisition. The painting behind me was painted in the late 19th century by the French artist Clément Quinton. Clément Quinton was initially a member of the Barbizon school, like many artists born in the mid 19th century. He was heavily influenced by the great Camille Corot, who uh, inspired generations of artists from that time period. But as time went on, in the 1870s forward especially, Quinton became much more influenced by the more modern contemporary artists of the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist movement, especially Paul Cezanne. And if you look at the distant, looser passages of landscape in the painting, you see a lot of influence from Cezanne. The painting, we think, probably came to America in either 1893 or 1903, because those were the two years when Quinton exhibited in Chicago and New York, respectively. And American audiences really took to his work. We don't know who the original owner might have been in the late 19th, early 20th century, but we do know that for many years in the latter part of the 20th century, <coughs> the painting was owned by William Kraut, who was a scholar and member of the community at Cambridge, Massachusetts, um, and affiliated with Harvard University. When Mr. Kraut passed away about six years ago, the estate auctioned this work, and it was sold in Boston at auction, and I acquired it then. It hung on my walls for about five years, and in many ways, I very much wish this painting were not on the walls of the galleries here at Oglethorpe University Museum, because I've donated the work in memory of my friend and mentor, Beltraner Lynch, who passed away much too soon, um, earlier this year. And she was a great force um, for good in the Atlanta community. She was um, an impassionate um, candidate for the rights of people for education and for philanthropy. She served as a trustee at Oglethorpe University Museum for almost three decades. She was the first woman to chair the board of trustees here at Oglethorpe. And before all of that, she graduated from Oglethorpe in 1961. And again, she was very passionate about the arts, the performing arts, and the visual arts. And we miss her very much here at Oglethorpe. So for those reasons, I chose to donate this work to the museum in her memory, um, to serve her memory in some small way. But another reason I wanted the painting to come to Oglethorpe is because it bridges the gap between the older generation and the newer generation, which also reminded me of the great philanthropic work of Beltraner Lynch. Because you see the earlier style of Corot coupled with the later style of Cezanne, and I think that's a really important element to keep in mind when you're looking at the art of 19th century France. And so this work, I hope, will speak to some of the strengths of the permanent collection here at Oglethorpe. So I hope very much that you can come and visit us here at the museum when we open to the public later this year. In the meantime, please continue to follow us online <coughs> here on Facebook and join us next week, same time, same place, where Elizabeth Peterson will be speaking about other works in the permanent collection.